how many reports are needed. Well, I just released civil rights report details multiple abuse problems within the LA County Jail. How many testimonies will it take to spur action? How many faces will look like this? Accusations of excessive violence against inmates in the LA County jails. No, I don't believe that any deputy will ever get involved in a fight with an inmate that the inmate hasn't started. My name is Patrice Cullors and I'm founder and lead organizer of the Coalition to End Sheriff Violence in LA Jails. 13 years ago, my brother was incarcerated inside the Twin Towers. He was beaten so badly by sheriff deputies that he blacked out. When he awoke, he was in a pool of his own blood. He was handcuffed to the bedpost. I thought he was gonna die there. So there's a very long-standing history of concerns both about the Sheriff's Department generally and the operation of our jails in particular. The deputies, they start kicking him on the head, on the body, here on the neck. You get flashlight therapy. If you don't know what flashlight therapy, you get beat with a flashlight. When they come in, you can't look at them in their eyes. So um, chin to chest is when you just basically, you do this, you just chin to chest. When they came in, immediately, inmates started warning me, saying, oh, do, you know, chin to chest, do it, because if you don't do it, then they'll beat your ass. I saw the body lying down on the floor with blood around his, his head. I think he was unconscious. I can recall getting kicked in the face. I can recall a lot of people saying, hey, you know, we're, we're gonna do these things, take our shoes off, you know, and stick it in places where you really feel violated as a human being. At the conclusion of our work, we issued a report, and the findings included concerns about a code of silence within our sheriff's department, and also concerns about excessive force in our jails, and among some, a culture that reflects an us versus them attitude, a mindset that views inmates um, as, as the enemy. But you're not, gonna, you're, not gonna, you're not gonna tell me how to discipline my people. We are demanding for an independent, permanent civilian review board that has the power to subpoena officers, that has the power to change the practices and policies of the Sheriff's Department. There are other parts of the country um, that have civilian review boards and those bodies have had an invaluable role in putting a strong public spotlight on what goes on. This is why I, I, I have the courage to do it. It's not easy for me, but I'm doing it because I know that it's hope. But if you can and you know this happened to you and you know it's real and you, you're tired of it, I mean, always you can sign petitions and you can tell the real what's really going on. You are the way that this is going to happen. We need you to sign our online petition. And the second thing we need you to do is join us when we march from the jails to the County Board of Supervisors with our petition, giving them the results. It's time for the Los Angeles Sheriff's Department to see the people inside those jails, the inmates, as part of our community.